Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about something we haven't really talked about on the channel before, which is Power Apps. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to link a Power App into Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. We're going to go ahead and create our own Power App from scratch. I'm going to show you how to do that. Very simple app. Just basically this app is just for the concept. I don't know that you'd really use it for much of anything, but it's just really to show you the concept of what you need to do inside the app and then what you need to do inside D365 to link those together. Okay, so to start off with, what I've got on, on my screen here is I've got um, uh, the make.powerops.com site that I've logged into, and then I've also logged into my finance and operations site here, right? and I'm sitting on the customers. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna create an app that's going to take the customer that we've selected in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation, and it's gonna filter down a list of invoices for that particular customer, okay? So let's go ahead and get started uh, with the app first. And so, like I said, I'm at make.powerapps.com. And one thing I should mention here in my connections, I added a Dynamic, Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations connector here. I've got that connected to my environment. Um, so let's go ahead and create a new app. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the Create. And I'm gonna create a Canvas app from blank. And I want this one to be for the phone. And I'm just gonna call this one uh, Sales Orders. Okay. And you can create a, an app based on other, there, there's templates and things in here that you can use. You can use those. I'm just creating one kind of from scratch just so you can show you how to, how, how to do it, right? So again, it's just gonna be a really simple app here. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do here is, is on my screen, I'm going to make a couple of changes here. I'm going to add a header here. So at the top here, I'm going to draw a rectangle up here just so I have a header there. And then I'm going to add a label to that. I'm going to call that uh, just so I have, uh, so I can call that uh, sales orders. So what I'm going to do is here on the, on the pane here on the right hand side, I'm just going to type in sales orders for the text. And let's see, we're going to make this font a little bit bigger. Let's, let's try 30, see what that looks like. Going to like that, and then we're going to go ahead and center it. And then what we want to do is I'm going to change the font color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to, uh, to the color down here. And we're going to make that color white. I think that'll pop out better. Good. So that, that kind of pops out. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to add a kind of a gallery view to this um, that's going to list our, our, our actual sales order. So we're going to, it's, it's called a gallery view. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Insert tab and then Gallery. And I've got several I can choose from. I'm going to choose Vertical here, and that'll add that to the app. All right, so now I've got my environment in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the sales order headers, and I'm going to use the V2 version, so I'm going to select sales orders header, headers V2, and then we're going to hit connect. And that's going to fill in some predefined data here for us. Okay, so it's loaded now. I'm going to kind of move this around here a little bit, make it look a little bit neater, and expand this out, just drag and drop in here. And you notice it's just got a couple fields. It does have an image field selected on here. I'm not going to use the image for anything, but I'm going to leave it on there. But what we're going to want to do is we're going to change these data where it shows no. This It's actually reflecting um, a sales order. We're going to change it to something more meaningful, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first no here. And, and see that, that field is price includes sales tax. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, sales order here. So I'm just going to type in sales order. There we go. I want that. That should be the sales order number. And then the second no, I'm just going to put in the customer number just so we can see that when we filter it out, it's gonna change. So I'm just gonna highlight that, and I want the customer account number there, okay? So we kind of look back here, we've got just the sales order number here, and then we also have the account number here, okay? So the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and, since I'm not gonna create a, 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 dot, a select into screen here, so I won't get rid of these arrows here. I'm just gonna hit the delete key and remove those arrows. So that's basically all that's gonna show up on our app. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to add some criteria so that we'll filter down the app to the specific customer we're on. So what we're gonna do when we get over to Dynamics, 
we're going to tell it what app we're going to use and then we're going to tell it what field we want to pass the app so there's a couple things we need to do to do that okay so if i go over to the um, embed power apps uh, microsoft doc i'll embed this in the uh, video link if we scroll down here there's a little if statement here that um, that we need to use so i'm going to copy that don't worry too much about what it says just yet i'm going to i'll explain that to you in a second so what we're going to do here is we're going to come to the app the tree view and we're going to select the app screen and then once we do that we're going to come over to the um, advanced tab over here and then on start we're going to paste that little bit of code in there okay so let me explain to you what that's doing so if i come up here i've got I've kind of got it spelled out here so it's basically an if statement and an if statement's got three components it's got a condition it's got a result and then it's got a, a then result and then it's got a default result okay so the condition is that on this is checking to see if there is a entity id being passed from dynamics 365 here so basically this is saying if there is an entity id then what we're going to do is we're going to set a variable called finops input equal to that entity id that's what this little statement does and then if we're running it um, with outside of Dynamics 365, we would not have this, this entity ID, it would be blank, so then it's just going to set that FinOps input variable to blank. Okay, so that's all that's doing. Basically, we're just getting the, the ID of the field that we're using uh, from, from uh, Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. Okay, now, so the next thing what we need to do is on this grid, we want to filter this grid based on the um, field that we're sending over fi from uh, finance and operations, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure that the gallery is highlighted. And then we want to make, we want to go to the advanced tab here. And then this items uh, enter the data here. So I'm going to copy another if statement here. And we're going to put that into that field here. So I'm going to copy that. And we're just going to replace this, this one here. And I've, I've got that, that one in there now. So let's flip back over to our page here. And let's just look at what this if statement is doing. So again, if statement's got three components to it. We've got a condition, a then result, and then a default result. So what this is doing is it's checking to see if our uh, FinOps input variable is blank or not, right? So if it's not blank, the exclamation point is a not. Um, so it's basically saying if it's, it's not blank, uh, this, this FinOps input variable. What I want to do is I want to sort by columns. So the sort by columns has got a couple of uh, inputs as well. So it's the, the table and the field and the direction you want to sort it. So the field we're sorting on is sales order number and we're sorting and ascending. And we have this basically the same thing on the if it is blank. Um, so we're basically sorting on the sales order headers, on the sales order number, and ascending. The then result's got one extra little piece to it, which is the filter section. So we're going to filter the sales order headers entity where the customer count equals that FinOps input variable, right? So it's going to take whatever's in that FinOps input variable, and it's going to filter the customer count in that sales um, sales order headers entity okay so we've gone ahead and we've put that in in there in our items here all right so basically as far as our apps that's as far as we're going to go i mean we can add lots of different things to this and, and build this out but i want to keep this trying to keep it as simple as i possibly can so what we're going to do next is i'm just going to go ahead and save this out so we'll come over here we're going to file and we'll save and we'll call it sales orders um, and then we're just going to click save. All right. So now what we want to do is we're going to go back and we're going to look and get the um, the ID of that app so we can link it into in the finance and operations, right? So, so far what we've done is we've built our app. Now the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to link our app into finance and operations okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our power apps or make power app screen and we're going to go to our app screen and what i'm going to do right here on our sales order app that we just created i'm going to click the little three ellipses here and we're going to go to details all right so what we're going to need is this app id that's right here i'm going to go ahead and copy that that's the id of the app 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the finance and operations screen. Now I've already loaded up the finance and operations screen, the customer screen, because remember we're going to send this app the customer ID and filter down on the customer ID for their invoices. Okay. So inside finance and operations, there's a little um, icon right here for Power Apps. We're going to click on that and we're going to click on add an app. And we're going to give it a name. I'm just going to call it sales orders. And here's where we're going to put in our app ID. That's where we paste it from our app. And then input for app, this is the field that we're going to send over from finance and operations. So the field that we want to send over, if you remember, we are filtering on account numbers. So that's the field we got to get in there. So we're going to select uh, account number. And then the application side, let's do the thin. And we can filter down by legal entities. I'm going to leave it for all legal entities, and I'm not going to mess with the legal entities here. And then we'll go ahead and do an insert. Okay, so whenever you do link a Power App into the screen, it is a personalization. You do have to refresh the screen for it to take for the change to actually take effect. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just come here and refresh the screen, and that'll refresh our all customers page. All right, and now we're back. So what I want to do is, is I'm just going to click on Cave Wholesales here and open that customer up. And then, so now if I click on our same little Power Apps icon, I should have one for sales orders. So if I click on that, and we should see this load. Okay, and so then here's all of our invoices for Cave Wholesale. So one of the reasons I put the customer number on there was so that we could see that this is filtering out just to show the US004 customers, okay? So again, this this app, you know, I mean, you, you, I doubt you'd probably use this exact app for anything. You definitely expand on it or do different things. But basically, the purpose of this was just to give you a very, very simple example of how you can link, create an app in, in Power Apps and link that app into Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. Okay, so I hope you learned something today. I hope you hopefully you found this video useful and, and, and hopefully you're playing with Power Apps. It's a big thing now. Uh, we're going to start seeing more and more of that in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. Okay, so if you did, please give that this video a like if you if you found this video useful. And I put out one to two videos a week, so feel free to subscribe to the channel. You get notified when I upload a new video. Okay, so again, I hope you enjoyed this uh, walk down through Power Apps. And until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.